Howdy, howdy, people. It's Friday. So I am going to can salsa today. And I don't know how good you can see the container, but I thought I'd lower it down, and then I'll bring you back up. So hopefully you can see everything. The first thing I'm going to do is I chopped up a whole bunch of my fresh tomatoes. <coughs> so I'm going to put them in there. And I've got four peppers that I cut up. I got about four onions that I chopped up. And then I have two large and two small um, jalapeno peppers. Yes, and I use the I use my gloves because, well, <laughs> I'm not much into hot. So I'm gonna stir all this together. Oh my gosh, you guys, it already smells good, and I haven't added anything yet. Oh, smells yummy. Let me let you get a picture of this real quick. Isn't it beautiful? So now I'm going to add some kosher salt. Not tons, but some. And I'm going to add little bit of pepper and I do not cook my salsa some people do I'm not one of them and I don't cook my salsa I like it to stay chunky and delicious I'm also not a cilantro fan but I found out last year that it actually does taste better with cilantro in it so I'm going to put a little bit in and then I'm going to taste it before I go and put any more than that in there. I know this is kind of a weird video, isn't it? <laughs> oh my gosh, it smells like my salsa. I love it. You can do this fresh too. You can also um, just freeze them. I did that last year for my husband to take to work. Mmm, just right. Mm, 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 mm. Just right. It's actually a little spicy. <laughs> Alright. And then I'm going to put in not quite a whole cup of lemon juice, probably about three quarters of a cup of lemon juice in it. And that's to kind of ward off the acidity from the um, onions and from the peppers and stuff because the tomatoes we're going to water bath are actually acidic enough. Alrighty, so let's give you a good look at this. That look yummy. Alright, so I'm going to get set up to can it, and then I'll be right back so we can put them in jars. Alrighty, so I'm back. So now what we're going to do is put it in jars. I'm going to move my chair a little bit closer here so I don't get it all over the floor. I don't have a huge kitchen, so we have to makeshift for counters and stuff. <laughs> now with your salsa, you want to go within a half inch headspace. That's going to be able to take a little bit more. And of course I can't find my debubbler. Go figure. So to debubble it, so I can make sure that I don't have too much, which I do. <laughs> so we're going to take a little bit out and put it in the next jar. Because the headspace is very important, so that way it'll stay where it's supposed to be. I actually could have kept that probably. 
All right, and then what we do is, I'm gonna do a couple of them and then I will come back when they're ready to go into the canner. You're gonna wash really good around your, your rim here because I know that there isn't any fat or grease or anything like that, but there are things that could affect the seal. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't wanna do all that work and have it not seal. That would suck big time. So then again, just finger tight. Now this is gonna go into the water bath. It's not pressure can. Some people do pressure can, I don't. And I always reuse my lids, but when it comes to water bathing, I use new lids. I pressure can with the used lids. All right, so let's do the second one here. Isn't that beautiful, you guys? Oh, I had so much of this last year. I even sent it every day to work with my husband, Froze, so that he could munch on it with chips and stuff at lunchtime. And we actually used up all of our salsa. I never thought in my lifetime I could ever go through that much salsa. Never. I mean, it was just so yummy. Now see how I'm too too high up there. Half inch should be right around this lowest seam right here. We don't want to go over that. Because <laughs> then it won't seal. Alright, so we're going to clean that one up. Hopefully I can piece all these videos together. <laughs> I'm still not techie, you guys, sorry. And then once again finger tight. So <laughs> I'm going to get as much jars as it'll do and my canner will only hold nine so I might have to do two batches. I don't know. The next thing I'm going to do when I get more um, ready tomatoes is I'm going to do homemade Rotel because I use that a lot in my recipes. We're not going to have a fancy dinner tonight. It's just going to be barbecue chicken and mashed potatoes or some kind of potatoes because I'd rather be canning. <laughs> but I'll be back when I get all these filled and show you what I got. All right, so I'm back. So we got two already in the canner. We got nine pints all together. Is that not beautiful? And we're going to have Jack do a taste test. Grab a chip, Jack. Don't be kidding yourself. He's already been eating on it. <laughs> we saved a little bowl for him, and then I put one in the fridge, too. One through ten, Jack. Yeah. Awesome. We got a good review. So we're going to load these up. We let the water come up to a boil. And then, because everything that I've done is cold, because um, I don't cook it. So cold jars, cold lids, cold um, rings, cold water. When it comes to a boil, that's when you'll start your timing, and you're going to time it for 20 minutes. And then um, when I get them all taken out of the, the um, canner, I will give you guys a check on what it looks like when they're done. Oh, fresh salsa. Nothing like it, you guys. I'll be back. Alrighty. So there is the finished salsa. And by the way, I told you 20 minutes earlier. It's 15. I messed up. But there is the finished salsa. It's going to be amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a blessed day and be a blessing.